Halloween 1977, a talk show host with plummeting ratings, pulling out all the stops for his latest annual Halloween special. He books a psychic, a professional sceptic, a parapsychologist and a young girl allegedly possessed by the devil. What could go wrong? Let's find out. This is the new trailer for Late Night with the Devil. content some gore we are back in five four now here's mr midnight jack Darrow. oh good evening loving this already thank you for allowing me into your living rooms once again well night owls we've got a heck of a show in store for you tonight and i'm very excited for you to see it all unfold before your very eyes i really hope you love it trying to host a national syndicated talk show. And I'm trying to help you keep it on the air. We all know how important it is to keep our sponsors and affiliates happy, but Attentions. in my humble opinion, there is only Why one person who really matters in this whole darn crazy business. And that is you, our viewer. You're meddling time with things lead you well. don't understand. Whoa, ho. Now, as you know, here on Night Owls, we think it's very important to keep an open mind. Please welcome Dr. June Ross Mitchell and Lily, the young subject of the book, Conversations with the Devil. I really don't think it's a good idea, Jack. She's becoming more unpredictable. That's a good thing. That's why we still do what? TV. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned for a live television Hold first up. as we attempt to commune with the devil. Nah, 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 nah. Lily, can you hear me? Loving this. <laughs> Good Ooh. to see you again, Jack. Lily, return to me. This isn't about ratings anymore. No one's going anywhere. How, How could, could you let it happen, happen Jack? How, How could, could you let it happen? happen? Please be warned, anyone with young children in the room. Go to the nurse, go to the nurse. What you're about to see. You okay, Jack? It's <laughs> profoundly disturbing and shocking. You get out there, Mr. Midnight. I'm stressed. Wow. I saw a teaser trailer for this um, maybe two or three months ago. It was a much shorter version, just hinted about what was going to come. I didn't even know this film was being made, didn't know anything about it until I saw that teaser trailer a few months ago. And then I've since read reports from people who have seen it um, about a year or so ago at a film festival. The lead actor, David Dastmalchian, so good in everything that he's been. I've, but I've only ever seen him in, in bit parts here and there, and you know, playing these like side characters. And he's always been outstanding in every film that I think I've seen him in. So to have him front and centre this time, I think it's going to be something special. It's a really weird vibe. The trailer, that whole seventies vibe, and it's like you're watching the TV show, and then you've also got that behind the scenes as well. It's freaky. It almost puts me in mind of um, there was a show, God, how many years ago now? Would thirty, thirty-two, something like. I'm sure it was early nineties, maybe ninety-two. The BBC here in the UK did a show called Ghost Watch, and it was presented by Michael Parkinson, and I think it was Sarah, it was Sarah Green, and I think it was Mike Smith, and they did that on Halloween night, and it was meant to be a like a, a documentary or a, a live show where they were at a haunted house with poltergeists or something but it was all set up and it all went wrong it was a big sort of um scam on the audience where um you know the ghosts were real and everything went out, went out of control and the tv show you know just fit hit the shan and people way back then way back then doesn't seem that long ago but they just went nuts and they believed it was real and the BBC was flooded with like thousands of complaints and I think there was even a suicide like five days later there was some young kid who was so freaked out by what he saw um, you know took his own life and it's just it was like a event television I don't think the UK has ever been repeated in the UK I think you can get it on DVD but I don't think they've ever ever shown it again and it really is a product of its time. And I think there's behind the scenes documentaries about that as well. 
I'm digressing slightly, but it puts me in mind of that. It's that sort of thing where obviously this time though it's played for real, like it is actually happening. You know, it's not. It wasn't all set up beforehand, and just seeing uh, it begin to unravel within that trailer and the tension ramping. I feel it's a must-see. I'm hoping it hits screens here in the UK. I know it comes out in the US uh, March 22nd, same day as a certain other supernatural spectacular film. And then it's in Australia, I think, uh, beginning of April, second week of April. The filmmakers behind this are a couple of Australian directors, um, Colin and Cameron Cairns, if I'm remembering that correctly. I don't, I'm not familiar with any of their previous work, um, but yeah, this looks great. This looks great. This looks must-see for me. It's kind of right up my street. It's going to stress me the hell out all the way through it, I think. Um, but just those turns that the, the young, innocent girl just kind of, that weird thing with her shoulder in the screen and then just when she turns, yeah, it just feels shocking. I think watching it as if you're watching a TV show is going to draw you in that much more. And um, I'm here for it. I'm all for it. What do you think? Are you looking forward to this? Did that trailer tickle your fancy? You're going to be checking it out. Let me know. Leave those comments down below. Also, while you are here, why don't you just hit that thumbs up button on this video? It really helps out the channel. It sends algorithm stuff to YouTube and they push it forward. Hit subscribe. Tap that notification bell. All that other stuff. But yeah. Really looking forward to this one. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed that trailer. Hope you come back soon. Be good. Take care. Bye bye.